Hey guys, 64 CJ Lax here, doing a review on my friend Swizzle Scandium. Um, I'm at his house right now, so I might be doing a couple of his sticks. So as you can see, it's a uh, Swizzle Scandium D-Pull. Scandium right there. So uh, yeah, let's get started. The first thing that I noticed about the Swizzle Scandium, well I have a, I had a Rasta Beat, which is a, like the limited edition Swizzle. And it has the rubberized grip. Um, it's almost like sticky. Your gloves will get kind of like stuck to it. So like up here, as you can see, it's shiny and smooth. But then as you bring it down to like the middle around here, it's a like it's a sticky rubberized texture. Um, so I uh, since I have one of these, I could do a review. Um, the Skizzle Candium. Light shaft, especially for defense, I would recommend it. Um, this is right now six feet. It hasn't been cut. I don't know if he's going to cut it or not. It's it's for it, it, mine never dented or never did anything. It didn't dent or bend or anything. So I guess it means it's durable. I liked it. Um, I did take the grip off. I know how to do. It's pretty simple. I just want to. That's a full shot of it. Uh, as you can see, it's brand new. Uh, it is a little pricey though, but this I know this is deep pull. I think the short one might be a little, a little cheaper, but this is $170. As you can see, Mikey Powell, um, Scandium. Um, I have heard that people's has like Swizzle Scandium has broken, but mine never did. My friends never did. And then I don't know. I guess I'll have to see how this one does so uh yeah just to sum it up smooth up here then it gets pretty uh tacky and sticky like a rubberized grip like uh the warrior r10 grip it's a crypto light so uh yeah there's just the butt end um so yeah this is it lightweight durable pretty much what you want for a deep hole so, yeah. Uh, see you guys later. Comment, rate, and subscribe.